Hello again, it's Michelle Phoenix. I'm uh, reviewing another Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, this time the July 2021. And as you may be able to tell with the same backdrop of my blue dress and the quilt and the clock that I, um, it's the same taping, I'm doing May and June, but this video is July 2021 and the theme was Stay Golden. And this bag, look at this bag. In case you're not with Ipsy. If you are with Ipsy, you're familiar with the Stay Gold. You know, Stay Gold, Pony Boy. Uh, <laughs> some of us remember that. The Outsiders movie. That was a movie from like 1982. Don't quote me. Run to IMDb and find out the actual year. It was early. Like 81, 82. Um, let me talk about that movie for a minute. The, the, the Outsiders, Okay. And the book was written by, supposedly, the legend was a 17-year-old girl. And that movie, The Outsiders, was like a really young Tom Cruise. A really young, um, what's-his-face from Dirty Dancing, Patrick Swayze. Oh, God. There was, Ralph Macchio was like the main character. Um, there was a couple of other big Hollywood male actors that were in it. Like, like they were in their teens. Um, I think Rob Lowe was like 12 years old or something. It was like the really hot actors of the day when like before they were famous. So anyway, um, that whole premise was like about poor kids beating each other up. I think they were like Italians in New Jersey or something like that. And they used to like, they were just fighting, having rumbles. Because I, I read the book as a little kid. And um, anyway, this, this kid, he dyes his hair blonde because he had to hide because some... They were having a rumble and one kid killed the other. And uh, Ralph Macchio accidentally killed somebody. So he had to run and hide. But then he ended up like saving kids from a burning building. And he had to dye his hair blonde. And um, I don't know what happened to him. I think he died or something. But <laughs> anyway, the, the part of like encouragement was like the kid's name, Ralph Macchio, was Pony Boy. Like that was his like given Christian name. And... um. Anyway, the theme was stay gold, pony boy, and it was like, don't let them get to you, and uh, he died, so apparently they did get to him, but the, <laughs> the whole thing was like, stay gold, pony boy, don't let them get to you, and now it's the July Ipsy Glam Bag is stay golden, I think it has more to do with like tanning in, this, in the July sun, um, <clears throat> I'm an astrologer, I've been like studying astrology for decades and this sun with the little blue eye of Horus right up my alley when I saw this on the spoilers like around early June sometimes I was just oh swooned at how beautiful this bag was um I'm not a glam bag base member which I, I realize you can be <coughs> at the same time as a glam bag plus but I'm not and I usually get like mystery bags but um I missed out on that cute little yellow and turquoise but I'll get, I'll get it in the future. I'll find a way. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm on to reviewing this glam bag. We all, current Ipsters, like I'm boldly speaking for everyone because of something called Fenty. Um, we love this one. This was a really good one. I received it July 17th. So pick days the second as it always is of the month. And then on the 17th. So I did pick day. I was excited. I was excited. And, uh, live my life and then it was ooh, early so I don't know I don't know if the 17th of the month for Glam Bag Plus is running on schedule but it felt early because June I received on the 26th June 26th and others I've heard like received it around the 4th of July their June Glam Bag Plus so anyway let me move on to the review of my bag because the world is watching and waiting personally for my I'm kidding but, so anyway, let me go with um, what they chose for me. Ipsy's two choices for me. Okay? Stay golden. Let me do the card again a bit. It's like all over the place. But the card, stay golden. Very hopeful, positive stuff. Find the hue for you. Facts. Bronzer is for everyone. Which, you know, I, I missed the boat on ordering a bronzer. I'll get to that. Well, of why I'm... I, but, you know, bronzer, bronzer is for everyone, and it's all about the undertones. Fair skin looks fab in peach or pink tone bronzers, which is true. 
So I wish I I was offered that hip dot palette that I'll get to, but I didn't get it. So when I read this, oh, browsers are for everyone. I'm like, oh, I wish I ordered one on this <laughs> glam bag. But anyway, especially because a bronzer would have gone with this. Oh, yeah. So let me get to that. So the two products that um, Ipsy chose for me, the first one was Il Maquillage Mascara. I see people talk about their glam bags. Il Maquillage. So let's get to this one. I gave it a two-star rating, and there's a long-winded explanation. This one lengthens and curls. I am into thick, fat, chunky mascaras that volumizes when you put it on. It gives like a fake, a really good, for me, uh, mascara. It's fat and chunky and it causes like a, it gives the illusion of like a thick over lash line, which I love. This is not, this is not it though. This is lifting and curling. The wand is like, oh, it's got a nice gum right at the end. Oh boy. So the wand is like, you know, the description says, like, put it to base and wiggle it. What they're saying is that this is a good lifting and curling. Let me see something. Okay, I have a little Benefit volumizing mascara right now that I like and think is cute. Mm. Let me see something. Um, I'm debating whether to try it on. Yeah, try it on. Because I'm telling you it's lifting and curling. But this is like a second coat on top of a better mascara. What I'm going to get to you is that this this thing flakes in like an hour, but it's late night, so who cares? So I'm going to... I can't look at you and do it, so... Look at me blinking it, but they want you to like go like that and then wiggle it. Okay, so yeah, that's how it's done. Let me do the other one. Look at me, I'm not talking at the same time. All right, like wiggle it, like wiggle it. So anyway, it's lifting and curling, and it does, it does lift and curl, okay? And it, it's like without using and like needing an eyelash curler. Which the last video is talking about eyelash curlers and my little guillotine. But um, anyway, um, it does lift and curl. It flakes off in an hour. That is like my main issue with it. And also, I'm not into lifting and curling. But curiously, after it, it flakes off, which I'm not having, your your eyelashes are like, they remain long and curled. And I've, I've used this, like only this, like several coats, which I don't, I don't like reapplying mascara at all, time for it. Um, but uh, even after like cleaning, at, at the end of the day, like my eye makeup off with like an oil, like a Neutrogena eye makeup remover, like, oh, the next day I make up free and my lashes are long and curled. Like, there's a residual even after you've used it. So, it, it in a way, it improves your lashes. And if you're into lifting and curling and lengthening, this would be the mascara for you. So, long story short, or short story long, which is how I did it, it's, it's not for me, but it, it can be for some people. Like, if you're into, like, a mascara that, that doesn't wear well, but improves your lashes, then Il Maquillage lengthening and curling is for you. But I gave it a two-star rating. So that's the end of that. So, and then the second item, um, Ipsy chose this for me. Oh, and Il Maquillage, it retailed at like 25 Yep, 25 Um, So the second item that Ipsy chose for me, I gave this maybe a four-star rating. Three, I don't know. Um... It's a, it's Tula Skincare, it's an eye thingy, it, um, I, I think I have it on right now, I have it on right now under eye makeup, um, it's a brightener, I could put it on, I, I was in, well, I didn't choose this, Ipsy chose it for me, but, um, it's not something I would have chose, um, but I, I thought, well, I'm intrigued by, like, an eye makeup in a stick, you know, instead of getting the, the goop on your fingers, it's kind of like a deodorant stick kind of stick and doo -doo -doo. um it's it's advertised as like after this video i'll start like reading the ad copy like most people do but um this is like um this tool of skincare it advertises like a, a cooling effect 
Um, and keeping in with like the stay golden, I, I think it's like there's an assumption that you're out in the sun this summer, it's July. Stay golden, like with the sun. So it, this this particular Tula skincare eye makeup, it's like an eye treatment. Um, it advertises a cooling effect, and I don't I don't really have a need for my eyes to be cooled. Um, I'm wearing it now under makeup, and it also touts brightening. And I have to vouch for that. Like, yeah, it does brighten. Um, I, when I first used it, I put it on these wrinkles right there. Look at that, the frown, frown, frown wrinkles that I have. I put it on there, and it's just, it, it's a highlighter. It's like, it was like a white sheen, and that's what it means by, like, brightening. It's like, like a highlighter. And I, I'm, I don't feel like reading the ad copy right now, but I will next, for other products next time. Um, it says, like, it's like touted to like relieve wrinkles or fine lines and I have to call BS on that. It, ha it, it hasn't done that. So um, I gave this like a three uh, review on Ipsy and I said thanks for the opportunity of trying it. Um, I was spoiled by my first one. I like, I like when they recommend products too and you're blown away. So these two were recommended but I wasn't like dancing like naked in the streets like happy. I like to exaggerate, so, <laughs> but so it, it was, it was okay, it was good, I'm glad I tried it, but I wasn't like bowled over. Now I'm going to move on to the three that I chose, right, and they, the three that I chose, were, I was really happy about, and um, the Tula Skincare Eye Roller, rather, retailed at 30, and, and a lot of people get stuff at Ipsy and BoxyCharm. And when they read off the, when they read off the uh, MSRP, the, the manufacturer's suggested retail price of thirty dollars, and people say no way, you know, I'm I'm saying no way, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay seventy for it. But it's like oh cool, like an eye thing that you can wear under eye makeup, but it I don't I don't like the claims that it helps with wrinkles because that's that's not true. So, okay, moving on, like I said I would a second ago, to the three um, that I chose. Let me start with this bad boy. This is the Fenty Beauty Uncuffed Color. Everyone who's reviewing their July Glam Bag Pluses are so happy about it. Um, Uncuffed was recommended to me, and then I got three more shades. I didn't get three more. I didn't get three more shades. I was offered three more shades, and... um. Add-ons, I think at 12, possibly 18 price point. The other three. Um, there's a hot pink one. They have all these cool names. Like mine is uncuffed. There's unlocked. Um, I don't think uninhibited is one. But yeah, the packaging is awesome. I love Fenty. I love the, the, the logo with the, the backwards end. This is Rihanna's skincare product. Okay, This is elegant. And you're just so proud and happy to be wearing it. Um... So it's lip paint. I'm wearing it now. I'm not going to apply it. But I'm wearing it now and I was wearing it for the other two videos that I did. Um, you, you'll know the other two videos I'm wearing the same dress, same background. So I put I tried this on and um, this isn't the same eye makeup. But when I try this on, it just inspired me to go bolder. And that's the whole point of the whole Stay Golden thing. Actually, this, this, this shade of Fenty Beauty eye makeup. Um, I'm trying to like line it up, but that's not happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> hey, Fenty <laughs> was really great. Um, it inspired me to go with like bolder, neutral, but like it would have complemented a tan so much. And then this card comes out and says like, you know, bronzers for everybody. But I, there was a hip dot that I went over. So let me talk about that hip dot palette. I did not get it. Um, the bronzer. It looked like there's two highlighters that people really went for, but there was a bright red. And that's what, like, turned me off of that, that hip dot browns, bronzer, which I was offered in choice. And it's, it's bright red. And um, there's a, a, a YouTuber that I know of um, that, like, she has, like, a, a coffee complexion. And she, she wore that red... And she's like, it's great. It looks like a sunburn, you know, without actually having a sunburn. It looks fabulous on her. I cannot pull off, like, dusting red on me. Like, I can't. Even if it does look like a sunburn, 
without an actual sunburn. It's, it's just, I can't do it. And then there's two highlighters that I guess I missed out on, but um, next month, the Halsey Drops was have highlighters. So um, I missed out on that hip dot. And then when I got this, what I'm going for is that this Fenty and then another lip product that I'll show you, it went in with the Stay Golden and I finally got the Stay Golden theme. So when you subscribe to Ipsy, they're going to have themes and it's related to like the time of year, which is beautiful. I love, but just, just remember that everything's thematic and think ahead. And now I understand like the pay it, paying attention to of spoilers. Like it's not, at first I had this philosophy of like, you yeah, know, I want to go, but like pick day, you, you really do want to be prepared for your choice and everything. So I'm wearing uncuffed Fenty right now. Let me see. That's the shape of my lips. It's not that I'm like, ah, it's, it's the shape of my lips. Um, the Halsey bag is supposed to provide a really good lip liner that I'm looking forward to. But um, yeah, this this is like a glamorous shade. It's the kind of like makeup product that makes you feel good about yourself. You know, like Rihanna's skin uh, makeup line is boss. You know, that's all I can say. So, um, the second item I chose and I anticipated, which, um, this is Wander Eye Beauty Bags, um, Beauty Bag, Baggage Claim, Gold Eye Masks, right? Okay. When you're offered this, hop to it. Like, hop to it. I, you know, I, I like to be, like, repre I like to think of myself as, like, representing, like, Ipster over 40. Like, I like to think of myself that way. If you're over 40... And you're on Ipsy, you will be offered this and hop to it. Like, don't think less of it because everyone's getting it. Because not at all. So when I, I got my Ipsy Glam Bag July Plus um, 2021, um, on July twenty uh, July 17th, I I opened this, put it right on. <laughs> and um, these, you, you can put, you put them on and they stay on for 15 minutes. You can walk around, do stuff, but I'm lazy. I'll sit down and relax. And um, 15 minutes, you take it off. And uh, my eyes were firmer. I want to, yeah, I'm definitely going to do it again in a couple of days. But there's six of them in each one. That's very generous. Uh, and it retailed at something. 25. 25 MSRP for six. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is like the price of the bag. This, yeah, of the Glam Bag Plus. And I was too shy to like do a review of me using the first one plus I was in a hurry because my eyes get so you can see how puffy my eyes are right now but they get so puffy that it's like mega puff with like this weird diagonal line I think a lot of women and men have that problem and uh I apply this 15 minutes take it off instantly and it lasts for a day your eyes are my eyes were firmer than they've been in years so yeah this this is worth all the hype this is worth all the five star ratings this is the bomb.com i mean i'm i want to use stronger words but i can't do it so <laughs> but anyway so i got the fenty thing the fenty lip paint and it is literal lip paint what i do is i exfoliate my lips with a sugar right dry that off Lip line, and I, you can tell I'm not the expert at lip lining, but also have problematic lips too. So I lip line as much as I can. Right now I have a Sephora collection lip liner, but next month, crossies, I might get Halsey X. There's a Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil next month. Yeah, I might get it. And plus Halsey had this really good instruction and she has the same lips I do. But anyway, I'll get to that next month. So I, I lip line and then I apply this and this is a paint like they tell you to shake it and it is a lip paint not a lipstick it, it's really great I, I've seen others demonstrate this on YouTube women with like this full beautiful voluptuous lips and it, there's actually like painting involved <laughs> mine but mine are so thin that like I do the paint on the lower and then I purse and then I let dry this is you, you let it dry like paint but it does not dry your lips. I've, I'm, I'll get to that. But it doesn't dry your lips. And then I, I follow it up with um, a lip plumper, a clear lip plumper that um, Too Faced that I got at um, Sephora. 
and then it plums my lip and then I'm good to go I'm, I'm good to like over dramatize my eye makeup more than usual which you know I could use a little bit more dramatize it's nice huh but anyway and then the third item I got and I got this in preparation for if this lip lip paint dries out my lips which it does not I got this this is a this is cool but there's a caveat I got this Hanalei lip treatment in sand keeping up with the golden theme which I didn't catch at the time I'm, I picked it I didn't catch that so like I thought it was like this random thing this was my third of choices so you, you pick three as I've said but that third choice it seems like the options aren't that great the third time and I, I I've noticed that other youtubers have this observation and I see that the first two choices like you kind of want everything like it's really tailored to your like and then the third category is like three items and you're kind of eh. and um so I chose this over a studio um brow I guess gel or brown filler but I'm in the market for I wanted to get a lighter one but I, I didn't I chose this instead in case Fenty dries Tanalei last month and I'm on Ipsy and I Sometimes the, the following month I choose based on what I feel I missed out on or didn't choose last month. And, you know, I hope I get that next week. So that's clever marketing. Um, th this last month I I opted out of a sugar Hanalei, uh, like, lip scrub. And it's only because I'm diabetic and I saw the word sugar and I'm like, no. But then I regretted it, and it would have been, and plus this lip treatment, it says follow up with a lip scrub, so that would have been so cool had I chose that, but there's always something else to choose. Um, this July on Glam Bag Plus on pick day, I felt like, I felt like by the time I got to add-ons, especially $12 add-ons, I thought, well, why couldn't that have been offered to me in choice? Like, I, I was looking forward to, because of spoilers, a Tarte, basically the same product. Like, 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 just like the same song, different singer. Like, a lip treatment that was toasted coconut, and it's Tarte. And I drink, like, this weird coconut-flavored coffee all the time and love it. So I thought, oh, you know, I was anticipated for that. And I could have bought that, but I bought other things for add-ons. But I was, I was irked. Maybe because it would have been direct competition with this. I don't know. So let me move on to talking about this. Um, wonderful product. Like there is a caveat that I had that I mentioned in my review for this. This is a terrific product. I um, slept with it at night. Um, I apply it at night and it conditions my lips. And when I wake up in the morning, I have this like soft, sensuous lips that, you know, chapstick doesn't do. <laughs> chapstick doesn't do it for us. So this, this was really good. I loved it. And it's the color sand. Um, I'm going to apply it right on top of my lip paint. But let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, seriously, let's see how it goes. That's the way I apply lipstick because my lips are so thin. I mean, I know smudge, but I just want to demonstrate. So it's sand. And you see it on my lower lip, right? Um, daylight does a better job, but... Um, it's like the color of literal sand when you're on the beach and it's yellow. Um, very, like, neutral. Um, again, if I had a tan, it would look really great with it. Um, my thing was, is that on the top of the tube, I, I'd show you, but you wouldn't be able to see it. It says 0521. 021, which is like an expiry of May 2021. So, this product I really had to need. You know, really, really had to need. And... Just a moment ago, and I said, "Y'all see how this goes?" It's because it doesn't squirt. <laughs> you know, use a dirty word, squirt. Um, it doesn't squirt out that well because it's old product. But I work with it. Um, it still works terrifically. But and I noted this in my review that, like, yeah, I think you you kind of included old, slightly expired product just to keep up with the theme. So, but anyway, I'm sorry to add that negativity to it, because this is a great product still. You know, I'm using it. Hmm. I'm moisturized right now, so that's, that's great. So, what else? Okay, now I'm moving on to my, um, my add-ons. Okay. All right, my add-ons were two hair care products. Ipsy Hair Care. 
Okay, on the internet, there's, like, currently, at the time of me filming this, there's, like, this whole summer, there's been, like, a controversy about Ipsy, like, too much skincare, not enough makeup, so there's, like, a, a skincare camp, and then, like, a makeup camp, and it's, like, the Capulets and the Montagues, and <laughs> and, uh, you know, but I'm all into, like, Ipsy hair care. Also, I want everything. I just want everything. So, my two add-ons, I got two hair products. And the first one was $12, Olaplex number zero. You know what I'm talking about. $12. $12. When I got my, um, my Glam Bank Plus on July 17th, that I keep <laughs> repeating, um, I literally got this. I felt the bag, pulled it out, just jumped because the instructions are to apply it dry and then shampoo. And because uh, that's why it's number zero. Because it's the hair mask that you apply before. But anyway. I just literally dumped as much as I could, like, knowing how badly my hair needs Olaplex. Like, um, I did apply this. This doesn't seem like a really glowing recommendation. My hair looks a lot better. It's actually a lot better than it is on camera that you can see. You're probably viewing this and be like, eh, I don't think so. But this was, I applied Olaplex, then also that Satan Sinners uh, styling product. Olaplex has given my hair life that I never knew it had. Um, in the ad copy, it says about, like, uh, intensive bond building hair treatment. Primes, repairs, strengthens, and protects all hair types. And it absolutely does that. This is a great, 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 great product. So, if you can use it, do it. Uh, you know, I just, Ipsy Hair Care makes me so excited. You know, I just dumped it on my hair, opened, looked at my skincare, and just, Hopped in the shower. So and then my second um, add-on, the final item of my Glam Bag Plus, was a $3 way. It's a scalp uh, exfoliator. And also you use it on your body. I used it on my body. Um, but you open this and you smell it. And it's like, I'm not going to smell it. You can't smell it. But um, it when you smell it, it's like, oh, I'm using a quality hair care product. And a couple days after I got my bag, I used it um, in the shower to clean my scalp and... Yeah, after my hair dried, uh, my scalp was, like, squeaky clean. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Way, no exaggeration, I'm about to start, like, a religion over whey products. Way is the, is the best. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe. I hope we can become, like, YouTube friends and start, like, a family or a, or a whey cult or whatever. But it's all about Ipsy and sharing our beauty products and tips. And I hope you enjoy your life. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm really difficult. But, uh, you know, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you watch my videos in the future. Take care now.